what, what I'm really excited about is, you know, part of the success of the Woods character is the fact that all his scenes are live action. You know, it's not, it's not being in the booth. It's like, I got to be on, on, I got to act with other people in the room, and that creates the magic. Now the whole cast is doing this. Everybody is going live action. So you have these moments of, of magic because people, you know, are actually in, you, know, you, you bounce off of each other. You know, you have an idea and it escalates or, you know, something, you, so much more can happen when you're dealing with one or two or three other actors in the room as opposed to by yourself in a box. So that idea was really exciting. And then when we started working like that, to see the performances that it generated is just really, that's, that's the shit, you know what I mean? And the storyline, it's massive in the fact that you can, you can manipulate the story while you're playing it, your, your skill level, your morality level, you know, how you, your perceptions will all dictate how you end up in the game. And I think that's, a, that's you get to control your environment as you play. And that's, that's a great idea. You know? And what about your empty game background? Did you play a lot of your games growing up when you were younger? I don't want to tell you, okay, this is, I got a story about this, okay? My mother, she, you know, she tries to tell people what I do in this game. She called, you know, Jim, that, that pinball game you play, what's that pinball game you do? And that's the level of, of sophistication where I come from with video games. I'm, I'm from that generation, we didn't have, you know, Atari was around, but that wasn't something we did. You know, so me, I, I have no, you know, I, I played Pac-Man twice. Didn't make any sense to me. I'd rather be on my bike, you know what I mean? Right. I'd rather be playing hockey. I, I, I things that I did physically that, you know, I think that if I had the, the opportunity to develop skill on a controller, I'd probably be addicted to it. Because I can watch people play for hours. I mean, I'll come in here and watch these, these guys who are really good. I just, it's, I'm absorbed. I, I'm totally engaged by the game. So I think if I had any skill whatsoever, I would be, I would be lost to the universe. You know. And how far, how crazy do you think it is? How far games have come since Pac-Man? It makes well, it makes total sense to me because you. I mean, it's one thing to sit there and watch a movie and be fed this idea. It's another thing to actually get it, to participate in it, to have the ability to dictate outcomes, to change events, to become part of the story you're watching, and that's that. That is inevitable because you can only sit there so long and just watch things. You want to become part of things, and that's I think that's why this is this medium is, is blowing up, and it has not even come close to its potential yet. I think once this comes out, and this is going to break open a whole new idea of what video games can be, and then where, where it goes from there is, is up to uh, people a lot smarter than me to, to, to decide. And what's it like hearing yourself in the Black, in the black Ops games? Um, uh, my vanity is huge. I love hearing myself. Um, he's fun. Woods is fun. I mean, he cracks me the fuck up. I mean, I'm seriously. It's like, you know, I hear stuff, you know, and, and I don't remember I said that. And I don't remember, oh, when did that happen? You know, like, and things that you don't expect to become iconic, like, you know, this is now, nah, baby. That was just, I was just screwing around on a take, you know, because that wasn't really there. I just it was kind of rehearsal take. And I just, you know, yeah, I had no idea. This is this is now, nah, baby. And it just, it stuck. And they kept it. And that became like an iconic line. And then, you see that, Hein? We're going to take it. You know, that was just, again, I was just fucking around. And these become iconic lines. So I have no idea what's going to happen in the game. And and, and, and there's, hearing, my, hearing myself do it, is, it's more like, wow, where did that come from? Oh, yeah, that was, it's the happy memory of it all. You know, and I just... And, and, you know, even seeing myself, how they depict me is really interesting, too. Like, well, that, that, that okay, that, I see, there I am, right there. Because they don't do exactly the same likeness, so I'm like, huh, that's, oh, there I am. That's, that moves like me, that sounds like me, but that's, I don't have that kind of hair. But it's, it's, it, it's really neat, because it's me, but then it's not me. So. And last question is, where would you like to see Black Ops go next? Um, Hawaii. Oh, you mean to shoot in Hawaii? Oh, no. I think a live action shoot in Hawaii would be great for Black Ops. Well, anything with the, with the beach would be great, you know? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I, I've got to say, wow, it, 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 where are we going to put Woods now? In my mind, I, I, I just connect Woods with Black Ops like that. That's, of course I'm going to do that. Um, there's, 
there's a million opportunities. There's there's so many things you could address. There's so many um, polit- geopolitical ideas that can be sort of investigated and, and, and experienced. So there's the sky's the limit. I have no idea what's going to happen next. <laughs>